Welcome back to game two. Uh, once again, Ariel took game one, so I know Cameron, who quickly keeps his hand playing a drowned catacomb, says, go ahead. All right, Black Cleaf Cliffs, and just says go, and ooh, another drowned catacomb. So a slow start for Cameron so far. Yeah, the uh, unfortunate thing about the core set lands is uh, great at fixing mana, but not necessarily in the first turn or two. No, as we do see a spell skite from Ariel, so that's going to make a good redirect target for any kind of targeted spells. There's a Heartless Summoning. Another turn two summoning. He always has it. <laughs> they always seem to. <laughs> Swamp says go. Ooh. A little bit, of, uh, little bit of frustration there from Cameron. Must not have hit a land. Cameron does have to discard. Discards a Laboratory Maniac. Uh, interesting. Uh, interesting to say the least. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, ooh, a Thunder Maw Hellkite. Thunder Maw Hellkite on turn three. Turn three. <laughs> That's a little... Uh, a little bit of pressure there. All right, it's going to be a 4-4, four, four, so it hits uh, Cameron for 4, sending him to 16. He plays a Palladium Mirror. All right, let's see what Ariel's going to have now. The mountain. He doesn't have any blue mana at this point, but uh, he can, obviously he can still pay the 2 life for the Spell Sky. Exactly, and there's a Solemn, so, so blue mana is no longer an issue. As he does swing with the, the Thunder Mile Hellkite, sending Cameron down to 12. Quickly jumping ahead in this game as well, just like the last one. The Solemns let him get effectively a turn ahead in terms of his mana development. So and then throw in the Heartless Summoning, and he's just yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's very quick. pretty absurd. Looks like he's I think he's just tapping mana. Yep. So wants to do, uh, okay. Pristine Talisman. Pristine Talisman to give him some life to get hopefully see if he can get back in this game. Yeah, try and stabilize a little bit. Says, Says go, nothing else. No, no nothing else to do there. Might have a trick. We saw um, Frost Breath discarded in the first game, so maybe he's uh, holding one of those to try and buy a little time. Taps three. Forbidden Alchemy. I see Evolving Wilds. A Runescar Demon. Uh, didn't catch the last two, but he does send the Wilds and then a Black Leaf Cliff to the uh, bin. I think he kept the Runescar Demon. It's very likely. At this point, he doesn't need mana. He just needs uh, some gas. And Runescar Demon, definitely good at uh, acting as gas. Uh, Cavern? Souls? Not sure what he named. Uh, four attackers. Looks like Cameron goes okay, to play. Okay, Breath. Uh, oh, he, I guess he's deciding to redirect with life going to 18. Um, yeah, but uh, Cameron will gain one in response, so he's uh, effectively just taking... Uh, three damage. Yeah, three damage. Uh, well, yeah, three damage, so he goes down to nine. But All right, Tezzeret right. here. Oh, you need to tap a black for that. Oh, no, didn't catch him on that. All right, yeah, some, somebody uh, didn't notice that there wasn't any black tapped. Always want to pay attention to how your opponents tap their mana. You want to make sure they're doing it correctly so you don't have any kind of funny business going on. Exactly. He uses uh, Tezzeret's plus one to look at the top five and decides to grab a second pristine talisman. Plays it. Says go. So he is up to ten life right now. Yep. And in the grand scheme of things on that turn it didn't matter, but even so uh, you want to make sure you're um, oh, Bonfire on top. That's going to be a bonfire boom. for, looks like, five. For five, yeah. And is he going to clear the Tezzeret or does he care? Sure he does yeah, go after okay. the Tezzeret, so Tezzeret and the Palladium Mirror yeah, are, are him. gone yep. while he swings in for Looks like four, four damage. Four damage. Or uh, five damage, actually. There's a uh, four power Hellkite plus the Solemn. Uh, the Solemn was tapped, so... Oh, oh, yes, so yes. It was just four damage, yeah. but he gains one life, so he actually okay. effectively takes three at seven. Okay. He, he played Ponder, was not happy with it, so he decides to shuffle it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure what he's looking for here. Um, he really needs something. Uh, he could have a Black Sun Zenith. That would clear the board, um, provided it resolves. He is uh, looking at some blue man on the other side of the table. So clasp and kills the Solemn, so Ariel at least gets to draw a card out of the dead. It's, uh, it looks like someone wanted to read the card. Uh, the second class, putting a minus one, minus one counter on the Thunder Mile Hellkite, making it a 3-3. Three, three. And gaining two life in the process from the Talismans. Yep, so he's up 2-9. Still, uh, still looking like Ariel's in pretty good position here. Those Contagion class are going to take a lot of work to kill it. 
Even with two of them. Looks like he's activating the cavern, so we're going to find out what creature type he named. Looks like he's tapping five mana. Um, decides to change which one he's going to tap. Ooh, a rune scar demon, so... Alright, here we go. Is he going to find uh, the combo again? See what he's going to grab here. I uh, guess he, he's not even going to have to... He's just deciding immediately what he's doing, I guess. He's, he's got his mana ready to tap. Looks like a metamorph. Yeah. Well, a metamorph pays the two life when it's 16, but he gets another copy of the rune scar demon, so effectively he gets to tutor twice. It looks like he found exactly what he wanted. Yeah, and put eight power on the board. <laughs> pretty powerful. <laughs> yeah. All right. So... I'm not sure what Cameron can really do here to dig out of this. It's, uh, I mean, it's got to be Black Sun Zenith or... Um, Tax for looks like just three, sending uh, Cameron down to six. Yep. All right. This is getting close to the wire here for Cameron. He's gonna have to come up with something pretty exciting here. Let's see, is that another Frost Breath yeah, in his hand? I saw Frost Breath in there. He's really shaking his cards pretty fast. He's obviously frustrated. Yeah. And to be fair, you know, it's completely understandable. You, you don't have a lot of action going on, and you're just getting a lot yeah. of pressure from the opponent. Oh, absolutely. Uh, looks like goes to combat. Looks like he does try to cast the Frost Breath, targeting those two. Uh, does not redirect uh, to the spell yeah, stack. Interesting. Little, little questionable. It could have probably won right there. Yeah, sending uh, Cameron down to three with the Hellcat. And uh, I guess shows him the, shows the him priest. The priest. Uh, he must know. must he have, have the combo. Oh, so, yep. Yep. Still, and there it is. still had all these. So uh, <laughs> with two games to nothing, Ariel takes it. Thank you for joining us for this abugames.com feature match. Uh, I am Derek Peterson. And I'm Marshall Candelaria. Thank you, and we'll see you again next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.